<laughs> roll up, roll up, Riri's back with a new video. Hi guys, welcome back to my YouTube channel. <laughs> this is a great vlog, like I'm so excited. This vlog is going to be a little get ready with me, a little bit of a H&M haul. <laughs> um, I thought we would chat the good, the bad and the ugly today um, whilst I get ready. It is a little bit of an early Valentine's for me tonight. Who's the lucky gal? So yeah, I'm excited for this video. How are you all? Are you well? I'm cautious my mum's on a work call next door so I better keep it down. Um, I don't want to anger Dot. So yeah, let's get ready today. I actually asked my mum because the lighting in this house is terrible and I don't have any of my own stuff. So I was like, mum, have you got a mirror that I can use to get ready at the window and she was like yeah yeah no bother my dad actually gave me this on her behalf <laughs> so i'm literally gonna be like this getting ready but anyway i started with my eyebrows eyebrows are on so tonight me and Lee are doing a little bit of valentine's so i thought i could get ready with you for that we're not really big valentine's kind of people to be honest um lewis one year came home with uh flowers that you got from the garage in Stonehaven so you know like a petrol station so that was cute and then one year he upped his game and took me to Miller and Carter and Lewis asked him to put roses on the table oh, so he's kind of upped his game but today I'm taking him out it's like a leap year when you propose to someone but I'm not proposing because we're already married but I am taking him on a Valentine's date actually he's kind of driving now so he's taking me out um which was really fun i thought i would treat him tonight because of all he has done for me but yeah i thought we could talk i've not put makeup on in four weeks um the good the bad and the ugly how about that so quickly before i start i just went to grey hope bay which is like in torrey it's like a little port a cab and cafe thing I need to remember to do my makeup as I talk. So this little cafe, it looks out onto the North Sea. Yes, yeah, so you can see all the ferries, the little dolphins with binoculars, and like, I just went with Megan, Shannon, and Chloe from work. And honestly, I just, it was just what we needed. We talked so much. We talked about books, girly things. Mm, we sat there for two hours. Anyway, I came away and I just feel so good for it. It was just what I needed. Oh, problem. I need to wet my sponge, but that's too much of a trek to the bathroom. What I'm going to do is just pour some of this on here. Ugh. Carpet and me are soaking. I'm literally like slipping off the side of the bed here. Sponge is wet. Yeah, so the good is I'm going on this Valentine's date, really excited about that. And yeah, it's literally got me through the whole week. Like, I, I know it's only, it's Wednesday. What day is it? Wednesday the 8th? Or the, yeah, I think it might be the 8th of Feb. Actually, Valentine's is so annoying because we want to go out on Valentine's night. But even last week, we were too late in trying to get a reservation anywhere in town. So we're going to go tonight and then we've got the choice of wherever we want to go because we can go at whatever time to wherever we want to go. Um, also went to physio yesterday and they were saying that I'm exactly where I should be doing really well but I just feel like everything's taken such a long time like I actually the physio actually said to me he's like you need to give yourself a break like you've had major surgery like you're not going to be up and walking and I actually thought like I would be I thought I'd be off the crutches like the surgery was three weeks tomorrow and I was told by physio in hospital I would be on my crutches for two to three weeks and like I would be back driving in about three weeks. Can't even get in and out the shower myself. No way am I going about without my crutches, do you know what I mean? So I just feel really deflated and then he was telling me I need to start using all these techniques to prevent a limp. God, I'm gonna be walking around in crutches for the rest of my life like a lifelong DBT. No. Um, so yeah, I was given a date for occupational health appointment, 
which was going to be the 31st of January. It's been cancelled twice now and now it's the 13th of April. So does that mean I can't go back to work till then? 13th of April. My mum was like, you can't even walk. Like, why are you thinking about work? But yeah, I don't know. Um, and also I've been, I don't know if I go, if I told you guys, but I've been having this like ongoing hip pain. Um, and this um, physio thinks it's bursitis. Um, and I'm also not sleeping at all at night. Like I haven't had a full night's sleep in like three weeks and it's draining. Like I feel like all these new mums that have these like lovely brand new born babies like are probably like, give me a break. But like at least when they're up in the night feeding their child, they're looking at this like beautiful thing that they love so much and they're really proud of it. And they have this like really rewarding feeling. Whereas like I'm up all night uncomfortable can't sleep and then i wake up with a sore knee it's not like i've got this beautiful newborn baby to be really proud of do you know what i mean sick of it so it all came to head at four o'clock this morning i woke up loose i was like i can't do this anymore i'm not cut out for this this is horrible um and of course he was really lovely and <sighs> bring on 3 a.m again this morning so that's ugly that's bad that that's just not what i'm here for but yeah, I'm finding loads of comfort in the in the physio telling me I'm at where I should be at, which is really nice. Um, done lots of retail therapy, been reading loads of books. I've seen a lot lots of my friends like coming in and taking me out, giving me gifts. Like, I don't know what I did to deserve them. Um, so yeah, lots of really nice things happening. <laughs> Problem: I'm going to Dublin in two weeks for a girls' trip. The crutches ain't coming with me. I actually said that to the, my physio yesterday. I was like, I am sick of these crutches. Like, not being able to get up and go and pee without them. Like, I can't carry anything in my two hands because I'm on the crutches, like getting up and down the stairs. Like, I've had enough. And he was like, I understand your frustration because you're obviously so active. And that's the thing, I'm never home. Like, when I'm at, I go to work and on my days off I'm never home like I'm always out I'm normally out of the country or in a bar somewhere you know <laughs> I'm not used to this my makeup is going on so stunning I'm happy with that one of the girls at work Steph she invited me to a pub quiz I have no like I will not be able to contribute at all like I couldn't really tell you about what the difference between metatarsals and What's the other tarsal? See, I actually don't know. And like, all I'll be able to contribute, this is like a general knowledge question, is how, <laughs> is how long is the like world's greatest record, the, the greatest world's record for completing the Rubik's Cube in its seven seconds? And um, that's probably about as general knowledge as I go. So I don't know <laughs> if I'll get booted off the team, but. <sighs> Imagine me at a quiz night with my work friends. I hope they'll be able to like carry me through. <laughs> Apparently it's like £500 up for grabs. Mm -hmm. But I'm going to crack on with my makeup now and stop talking because it's probably really long and really boring. And I'll catch you guys when my makeup's done. Oh guys, look at this little golden hour we've got going on. What time is it? So it's 20 to 4. Um, hair's done. Um, I got this inspo from Saffron Barker um, like last April, March time. Um, so I wore my hair like this in London. I was going through some London photos the other day. So I was like, I'm gonna wear my hair like this tonight. So I thought I would go through like a little bit of a haul with you. Um, yeah, my little H&M haul. I thought it'd be really fun. I just did my hair off camera because I was on FaceTime to Emma, which was really nice just catching up. Um, I'm actually seeing her tomorrow as well. <laughs> totally pointless. Yeah, let me show you what I got in H&M. First up, I got this from ASOS. So forget the H&M thing for a second. When I was on Instagram and I saw that Abby Blythe was in Amsterdam and she posted this bag, which I actually really love. It's like a little one. Um, 
Adidas, an Adidas handbag. I'm a bit of an Adidas Nike fan. Like I actually do like the old thing, but the fact that they're doing bags now, I actually really liked it. So I've actually got an outfit idea in my head that I think I'll wear it in Dublin when I go, but I just thought that that was really nice. Um, I could do like an all black. I've got like a, a black like midi bodycon kind of dress with long sleeves. So I thought I could put that on with like a blazer and this bag. So this was £28 from ASOS, I love that. And then next up, this is what I was thinking of wearing tonight. I've got these like long, oh my god, what do they call these? Oh my god, I'm actually having a mind blank. Anyway, these trousers, uh, lovely in pink with the pockets. That's really annoying me. They're like a little baby pink colour. I don't know if you can see because of the lighting. They're actually a size 10. I've not been a size 10 since I was probably 11 years old and I put these on to try. I was like, oh, I'll just take them to the changing room in H&M and try them. They literally fit so nice. And then I got them home and I was like, I just want to try the 12 in case because they did have a 12 in the shop. I actually ordered um, a 12 in here. I feel like, you know Perry Shan on Instagram? She normally gets her H&M parcels in a box and I got mine in a brown paper bag, like a chipper. So yeah, I ordered them in a 12 so I can try them as well and then I got this waistcoat to wear with it, which I actually really like. It's like a matching thing and I thought like with the red bra underneath, a red bag, maybe a red lipstick but maybe that's too much. Um, I actually don't think I'm going to wear the red lipstick because I'm so pale anyway. I have no fake tan with me. I haven't even done any of my teeth whitening. I haven't put my purple shampoo and I don't have any of that here at my mum's. Like that's all at the flat. So even this looks a bit, I look so pale in it because it's so pale. But yeah, I ordered this in a medium. It is a little bit big but I actually kind of like it. But then a waistcoat's meant to be quite snug. So I've actually ordered a small um that just got delivered today as well so I'm gonna try it all on and see what I think and I'll show you. Um, next up I've got this pink shirt, this pink striped shirt which I really love as well. It's such lovely, it's like really lovely thin material. I think it'd be nice like, I think I'm actually gonna take it on holiday with me in summer because my mum actually says that San Fran is freezing and a lot of vlogs actually say San Fran's freezing so I just thought with like maybe a white bodysuit on underneath and then I could put this on top like, or whatever and just cover my shoulders but yeah I really love that I'm sweating I've actually got like the sun right on my face um sweaty upper lip um but yeah I love this and I think whilst I'm here I'm gonna wear it with like my pink suit that's how the girl in the on the H&M website she had a pink suit and put this on underneath and I've actually got a pink suit from Zara so I thought that was really nice. I'm going to show you all this on and um, actually with this waistcoat I've actually got pink as we go trainers so I thought that would all be perfect and the trainers are perfect because I can't actually wear any heels at the moment because I'm still in crutches. I've got this green dress so this is identical to the one in black that I've got but I just kind of wanted to see the black on. Oh it looks really lovely in green. Um, I feel like in the H&M change rooms when I tried on the other day, which by the way was an absolute faff, Luce was helping me get dressed in the change rooms, um, I just felt like because of all the lighting, like all my lumps and bumps were on show, so I just feel like I'm not going to have that in black, put a belt around the middle with my Dot Martin um, boots or I've got my massive heel heeled boots from Zara which I can wear later on when I'm much better. But yeah, this is green. Um, it's got a slit up the back here, and then it's got these slits in the in the sleeves, which is really nice. It's so nice and comfortable. How much was that? This was eighteen pounds, and then I've obviously got it in black. Um, so yeah, this is the black one. It actually looks really big. I think I wish I like I actually ordered a small. I got these in medium. I actually. I'm looking quite thin compared to normal post-op even though I'm eating so much crap I don't know how it's happening but the weight's falling off and like a lot of people even my dad last night was like would you just eat something like you're looking so skinny and I'm like yeah but I don't actually look good for it like I feel like it really it's not really me and I've actually got like no boobs left either my bra's like gaping 
but yeah I just ordered the black one as well in a medium um, but yeah super comfortable like this will do me all the way through to like probably the end of April so I don't, I'm not really a black kind of girl like I normally wear lots of color um, so yeah I'm gonna go and try that all on and I'll get back to you hi yeah happy Valentine's Day thank you did you forget no I didn't forget <laughs> it's just a week away <laughs> This Thank is you. our Valentine's Day. Well, I'll open it or? Yeah, I'll open it. Okay. He's getting a haircut and he's going to shave and shower because look at that beard you're growing. <laughs> How cute! Okay. Hold on. I'm going to open it. I'm just going to look for money. <laughs> oh. No, you're ruining the car. Don't open it. Yeah. Sorry. Do you know how much I love you? This much. <laughs> Actually, I love you much, much more, but my arms weren't long enough. To I... Lulu. <laughs> How cute is that? Thank Look at the little much. hands. Oh. <laughs> <laughs> Thank you very much. You're welcome. Are you excited for tonight? Did you drive there to get it yourself? Dad took me. Oh, lovely. <laughs> yes, I'm excited for tonight. We're going to Rustico, aren't we? Yeah. I hope you've told them. Yeah. No. Why? What have you done? You cancelled just to go. No, I'm just checking. You told them, and I'm not. It's not a spoiler. Oh no. <laughs> right. So this is outfit number one. So this is the pink shirt I was showing you. This one, I'm wearing a small, um, and it's quite big actually. I'm normally a twelve. It's got big sleeves that aren't like tight. That's them actually tied, so it's not like they're tight fitted. And then I've got my pink trousers on. And then I've got the pink blazer to pop over the top. But I just thought this was a really lovely, it's kind of a Valentine's vibe as well. It's all very pink. But yeah, it's suited and booted. I really like this. Right, so next up we have got this little green dress, which is actually really me because it's long and um, hides most lumps and bumps. Um, I popped on this little gold necklace with it. I actually quite like it. I like it a lot more now that my hair is down. Little black bag, little black boots. I think this would be lovely. See the colour a bit better here. And then it's got like the big sleeves. Yeah, and the little slit at the back, which makes it a little bit nicer. I feel like this is casual, but also really nice. And here we have the black one. Again, I've just popped on that little gold necklace. Um, yeah, this is a black one, but Lewis was just telling me he thinks he prefers the green one because it's a bit more colourful. I actually think I do. I, I like black because you could wear it to everything. I've got my little black bag as well. Um, and I did have a belt around it, but I think I prefer the necklace. Um, hmm. To be honest, I think I probably will go green because it's a bit more me. This is just... Oh, I actually can't decide. Hmm. I actually like them both. Should I just keep both? <laughs> right guys, I am ready for Valentine's date night. I, I'll walk you through the outfit. So I went for the small one because it's tighter, which I think is what a waistcoat's meant to do. This was £17. The trousers were £20. And um, so the whole outfit was £37. And <laughs> um, my trainers are the pink as we goes um, that I was telling you guys about earlier that Lou's got me for a birthday present um, a couple of years ago. I've got my red pretty little thing bag. I was going to do a red lipstick but changed my mind. I've got a red bra on underneath which was like, which I actually bought for Valentine's Day a couple of years ago. And then up close, come on cameraman, we've got this red uh, love heart necklace that Lewis bought me in, in Glasgow in December. So I'm ready, just missing my crutches. Let's go. I'm actually not gonna take you out with me. I'm just gonna film some food because I actually can't vlog and do my crutches all at the same time. So I'll vlog um, bits and bobs and I'll catch you whenever we do. Love's for beginners, ain't no winners It slips through your fingers, I ain't telling no lies So F all the drama, F the karma Just do what you wanna, promise you you got time Leave you and keep looking forward Don't you look backwards and you'll be fine Come through and say what you need to Don't let them put you down
Hello guys, it's the next day. I just thought I would just quickly turn on this camera. I don't know how long this video is gonna be or what this video is. Um, basically, I had planned to like take a break from YouTube just whilst I was having the surgery because I didn't think I'd be up to much. I thought I would just be sitting chilling at home. Um, but it's been so, so nice to pick up the camera and video something or chat. I feel like, when I'm vlogging, I'm able to chat, even though there's no one actually here. Um, so yeah, that's been really nice. Again, I fell asleep about probably midnight last night and was up at 2.45, so <sighs> the sleeping thing didn't get any better last night. Um, it's really getting me down, to be honest. I feel like I could cry thinking about lying awake staring at the ceiling for five hours of the night um, oh, just I was saying to Lewis this morning at some point in those hours and I was like it's my birthday at the end of the month and I was like all I want for my birthday is like a full night's sleep <laughs> right I'm okay <laughs> um, yeah exhaustion is unreal I'm keeping this video really real because I said it was going to be <laughs> the good, the bad and the ugly. So here it is. <laughs> Last night was unreal. Like one of the best nights ever. We literally went to the Albine. I had a strawberry daiquiri. Then I had a wine, a two, bir two birds, one stone rosé, which was really nice. I went to Rustico's and got five star service. Like the staff in there, the food in there, unreal. I had like a tomato, garlic and chili pasta spaghetti with um, scallops and king prawns. Oh, it was heaven. The bruschetta, the salad. Lewis had like a barbecue pepperoni pizza. Um, yeah, unreal. And then went by my sister's work and had a drink in there before coming home and watched a Florida vlog. <laughs> So it was just the most amazing night. I think it was definitely what was needed. It was just, I don't know, it was so nice. It was so nice to be out together. Um, so yeah, Valentine's is done. We'll probably get like a Tesco's meal for two or something um, actually on Tuesday night when Lewis is home from work. Um, but yeah, that is Valentine's for us. I'm sitting still in my Valentine's jammies red hair bobble just to tie it all in I've got a sports bra on which I don't sleep in um, but I had Emma, Kareen and Cora around this morning for some catch-ups and coffee which is lovely I've just watched Molly May's birth story uh, YouTube video which was really nice I really liked that video um, but yeah guys I don't know when I'll be picking up this camera next but if you made it to the end of this video then thank you so much for watching thank you for listening to all my moaning coming on date night with us um, yeah I'm super grateful and I'm super grateful I haven't really said to all my friends and my family like my mum and my dad and Lewis like running around after me my friends like making such big efforts to come and take me out, come and to pick me up because I'm in Cove and like I feel like all my friends are like down that way so the fact that people have come to get me and to take me out and take me home or people that have come round to the house brought me flowers, brought me gifts, I actually can't thank you all enough. It's been amazing, it's, it's been so so nice and very kind but thank you so much and I'll catch you in my next video.